Hello everybody, welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. So today I want to talk about Prestique. Uh, so Prestique is an antidepressant. Uh, it's very kind of closely related to venlafaxine. Um, it's actually uh, basically taken from venlafaxine. It's the right-handed isomer of venlafaxine. So Prestique, the that's venlafaxine is actually in venlafaxine. So um, it's uh, Needless to say, it's very similar to Effexor or Venlafaxine. So, Prestique is an antidepressant. Um, it's usually given as a 50 milligram once a day dose. And it says right here in the package insert that there's no evidence that doses greater than 50 milligram per day confer any additional benefit. Uh, but I see all the time patients taking 100 milligrams a day or even more than that or 75 milligrams a day. Um, so it's certainly uh, people are being people are being put on 50 and 100 milligram or being put on greater than 50 milligram a dose doses per day. So that is out there. But um, in the package insert it says 50 is really the best dose. So I've seen it both ways. Um, one thing to keep in mind is as you go up in dose uh, on uh, Prestique, the side effects get worse, um, but you're not, you're definitely not going to see a doubling in effectiveness. Um, so just putting that out there. Um, and they do have a 25 milligram dose and that's to help people taper off the drug because there is a discontinuation syndrome when the drug is stopped. And um, uh, just like any of these, uh, Antidepressants, it takes a couple of weeks for the drug to to um, have a, an effect, so you have to kind of stick to it um, to see the effect. You're not going to have an overnight kind of uh, response to the drug, but you might have an overnight side effects to the drug. So, in terms of average uh, reduction in depression symptoms, is about 10% over um, placebo, and um, it didn't list the placebo effects specifically in the package insert, uh, but in other studies and with other antidepressants, I've seen it be about half. So I can't assume that it's about half, but I'm sure it's significant. Um, placebo is usually a significant effect. Um, for some reason, it's significant. I don't know why placebo, you know, placebo effect is like a mystery, but and there are a lot of different um, side effects. There's a black box warning on it for suicide risk, which is on all these SSRIs and SNRIs. And I think even all antidepressants have a, a black box risk for suicide in children, in young adults. And it is, um, I think that the reason that uh, these drugs are associated with increased risk of suicide is uh, something that I sort of picked up when I was on rotation in psychiatric hospitals is that, that a lot of times people when they take antidepressants they start to um, have more energy and they start to like improve their appearance and look better but they're still very depressed so they might actually have the um, motivation to actually commit suicide whereas when they were depressed they might have had no energy and really no um, kind of worth, wherewithal to commit suicide, but they probably were still ideating or having thoughts of suicide. So that's kind of my two cents on why antidepressants can increase uh, suicide risk. I'll just show you this table from, this is what they use in all the antidepressant um, package inserts and just kind of per 1,000, what is the increased risk of suicide? And um, that's why we have a black box. So there, it could increase your blood pressure. Um, there's issues with nausea, dry mouth, constipation. Those are dose dependent. Um, fatigue, feeling tired and dizzy, um, but also having um, difficulty uh, with sleeping. A useful chart here, kind of going over the different doses and what the percentage of um, people who experience the adverse reaction so um, other things that are uh, listed any kind of uh, antidepressant can cause serotonin syndrome 
um, especially when other drugs are added that can cause serotonin syndrome. So those are drugs like other antidepressants, fentanyl, lithium, tramadol, all those things combined can, can lead to serotonin syndrome, which is extremely rare. Another rare effect is abnormal bleeding. That's um, when drugs like ibuprofen or aspirin, uh, drugs called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, they already have kind of a bleeding risk on their own, but uh, Prestique can increase that risk. Um, people that already have n narrow angles, this drug can contribute to an angle closure glaucoma. And um, bipolar patients, this drug could contribute to a manic episode. And I th think I talked about it, but discontinuation syndrome, so that's when the drug is stopped. Especially if it's stopped cold turkey without any tapering, there could be a discontinuation syndrome. And that's um, flu-like symptoms, trouble sleeping, poor balance, um, but also weird sensory disturbances like uh, the feeling of electric shocks going through the body. And I did discuss that in another video, I went over the kind of the, the um, issues with stopping antidepressants and um, kind of some tips on that. So check that out. And um, basically it's, Prestique is an effective drug. It's very similar to uh, Effexor. And I don't see, I don't see Prestique used as much as I see the SSRIs like Zoloft or Prozac. And I don't, it doesn't appear to be any more effective than those drugs. Kind of the adverse reactions are a little different and usually it's dependent on the practitioner, whether what they're comfortable prescribing, what they're comfortable with, and you know what, what drugs they become kind of educated on. So I hope you all found this interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.